Hey, what's up, y'all? So, Stephen A. Smith, he's definitely the king of backhand comments. And he was going at Nate Robinson this time. So, let's check this clip out. Then, I'm going to come back with my comments. Before I get on out of here, I just wanted to take a moment to address an issue involving former NBA player Nate Robinson. Two years ago, after revealing he has kidney disease in 2022, the 11 year NBA veteran and three time slam dunk champion told the Daily Mail this week he does not have long to live if he doesn't get a kidney transplant. Robinson has spent the last four years searching for a kidney and shared he would only survive, quote, a week or two, end quote, without a dialysis machine. Robinson learned of his condition in 2006 while playing for the New York Knicks. Doctors said at that time he had high blood pressure, which led to damaged kidneys and would eventually lead to where he is now. Robinson said he used to tell doctors not to check his blood pressure, just to ensure he would be allowed to play in games. A professional athlete potentially compromising their health is nothing new. We've seen this on many, many occasions, maybe not in this particular or specific situation, but certainly athletes put their health in jeopardy all the times. But I think it's a rare occasion, dare I say the only occasion in this instance where I've seen something of this ilk, where doctors told you back in 2006 that high blood pressure could compromise your kidneys, where in 2018 you knew that your kidneys were failing. And yet still, on November 28th, 2020, you step into a boxing ring with an individual by the name of Jake Paul, who was bigger and obviously more skilled as a boxer because he was literally training with professional trainers while you were simply playing basketball. The reason why Nate Robinson decided to participate in exhibition with Jake Paul is because he needed the money he got paid $2 million for that. What in God's name would make you do such a thing? Some could speculate as to whether or not you needed the money or anything like that, but if you're talking about putting your health in jeopardy, that certainly did it. Last time I checked, boxers take kidney shots all the time. And if I recall correctly, it wasn't just shots to the jaw upside the head of Nate Robinson that were absorbed. There were a couple of body shots that were put in there by Jake Paul as well. My heart goes out to Nate Robinson. I wanted to bring attention to this story because I wanted people to know if there's a way to help him, please feel free to make that concerted effort to do so. It takes a lot of courage for him to come out in the open and reveal what he has revealed, particularly how dire those circumstances are. I wish him nothing but the best. I'll definitely pray for his well-being and him getting his health in order, but I do find myself scratching my head as to you knowing that you had full-blown kidney failure and you required dialysis and somehow, some way, you got into a boxing ring in 2020 against a guy as big and as strong and, dare I say, as gifted as Jake Paul. What on earth were you thinking? That is what enters my mind right now. Outside of that, I just want Nate Robinson healthy. And I think he told the world because he's crying out for help. He's letting us all know that we need to be aware of what's going on with him. So if there's any way possible we can help him, we'd be willing to do so. That is why I decided to end today's show by addressing this subject. I hope he truly does get the help that he needs and that his health will be restored so he can live a long and prosperous life. By the way, take care of yourself and stop taking crazy risks. Don't ever do that again. Hey, what's up? Y'all, so that was Stephen A. Smith. And what he said was actually real because Nate Robinson, he went up against Jake Paul in an exhibition fight. And he actually took a major L because first, Jake Paul is a bigger person than Nate Robinson. He's a more experienced boxer than Nate Robinson. And I don't know why he decided to take that boxing exhibition because now you see that he has problems with his kidneys and he actually gave an update when it comes to his kidneys and Stephen Smith is saying that why did you decide to do this exhibition when you know in fact that you have problems with your kidneys 
And I actually agree with Stephen A. Smith because maybe Nick Robinson needed the money because I'm sure he was paid at least 900,000, at least six figures for the exhibition. And I think that this is the reason why he decided to take the exhibition against Jake Paul. So I actually want to know what y'all think about this. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, and watch the next videos. I got for y'all.